there and show them some of the debris that has come in from this flash flooding scenario in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene uh, that came in with the impacts on Friday morning. And you see in the distance water and tractor trailers overturned. 99 people across multiple states have lost their lives, nearly 40 in the state of North Carolina. And as I stand here and speak to you this morning, there are many people that are still out of communication zones. Cell service is minimal. And we can see the impacts from the air and the ground in some of uh, the video that we're potentially looking at right now. Power is a major issue. Fuel is an issue. Uh, there is let little or no resources for food and water, and aid is trying to make its way in. We are told there are over 2,000 federal government employees on the ground here and that there is over 5,000 National Guard troops that have been called in to try and help. Search and rescue is still active here today as many people in some of these towns that are up in the hills are cut off because of lack of communication. And so if there's missing people, we hope that that is the scenario, that they just have not been able to get cell phone and communication out. As a matter of fact, I got a text from someone whose daughter lives here in the hills, and he just heard from her this morning. And so we know that President Biden and Kamala Harris, Vice President, will be here at some point later this week. Donald Trump will be in Valdosta visiting that devastated town. Multiple people uh, are on the ground here are trying to assist as far as state, local, and federal government. And on top of that, unfortunately, we have nearly 2 million customers still without power in multiple states from Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. This is an epic disaster that will likely cost over $100 billion as Helene has ravaged many people and uprooted lives and taken.